I'm on the core of Standby Task Force, um, and uh, that was formed in 2010 to provide volunteer online digital responses to humanitarian crisis, uh, local emergencies, and issues of a local or global concern. Since then, uh, we have played an important role in, uh, in humanitarian response to many crises and disaster situations across the world. SVTF is uh, fortunate to have thousands of uh, dedicated volunteers that spend considerable time during disasters researching information and carefully entering it into our Google Sheets. It's a relatively simple and familiar way of collecting critical uh, information from disparate community volunteers. They aren't usually experts on humanitarian ops or the specific needs of an event and need to learn quick and be managed really well. As a volunteer, don't you want to know um, uh, to remain engaged, uh, what you're doing and how it's helping? Every activation is different and requires critical changes by the core team and activators that belie the use of templates. The visualization of information has always been done by our volunteer GIS professionals within the group. I'm a GIS professional and community engagement specialist and understand the value of these professional products. But in, in a disaster, the critical need is immediacy, where minutes matter. Duplication, you know, uh, why do things that other people are doing? Accuracy, simplicity, and customizability. We started to use Silk during the Ecuador earthquake. Um, it syncs the information that the volunteers collected with, uh, with, with uh, emergency management. And you could visualize that in maps and in a table on websites and more. It's meant to be simple. It's not meant to be anything more. It's meant to uh, fill that gap in the 48 hours between a disaster and between people being on the ground. It's not meant to do what other platforms are, are doing so well. These charts aren't anything ground, uh, groundbreaking. The key is customizability. The medium allows us to tell a story and for the user to also interrogate the data, ask the questions they need to, and get the actionable um, information that's current. They become more than just consumers. The grant work of data entry and quality control is handled by uh, the standby task force so that users can explore the data, uh, take feeds of what's relevant to them, and tell their own story. It was our first use of Silk. We had no relationships with the company, and through emails to them, we were offered full use of accounts and uh, of full use accounts and a high level of support. During rapid onset disasters, um, there are lots of smaller and larger NGOs and charities uh, planning to participate in relief efforts. To our knowledge, there is no systematic scanning of information about such interventions. So, getting back to the basics. Um, during the Nepal earthquake, SBTF delivered a comprehensive 3W report, a who, what, when, and where, showing a wide range of NGOs responding. During Ecuador, uh, the same kind of information was collected and embedded in our new system. So feedback from the co uh, coordinators um, showed us that that information was the first of its kind and of high value. And this is just in that brief period before all the other platforms you know, could really get going and, and uh, be useful. So you know, how can I, um, 3W, help next time? You have 12 seconds to respond to this. <laughs> but uh, this is not about silk. Um, it's about simplicity. Uh, it's about the fact that we need to present critical information quickly. It must be accurate, and ideally end users should be able to mold it to their needs. And this needs to be done in, in that 48 hour window. It's also about the volunteers. For them to remain engaged, they need to see how the time they're putting in is making a difference. Post activation reports and thank yous are really good. 
but their ability to visually see how the data they co collect uh, and enter is being used adds a lot of personal satisfaction. It should keep them motivated, and that's the key in, in volunteerism. Thanks.